Hello everyone and welcome back to another round of uh, Wicked Whiskers. We had our spring break and we will break this cycle of non-filming with Pro Rasso White. For the brush I will use something similar but then very new. It's Omega S49 synthetic brush and very similar to professional one except this one is the bore and this is synthetic so in loft very the same and the shave dynamics is also very similar so just a light dip and as you can see a lot of backbone a lot of firmness in the loft and while I perform the leathering I will just pinch a few short clips from a vacation just to break a little bit we went to some oh an old boar whisker we just had a couple of small days off so not a true vacation but maybe just you know small field trip to lake of Palic in the north of Serbia for those in Hungary it's very close to the border so in case you like it it's very easy to commute and also very enjoyable to visit so as you can see from this start the lettering is pretty pretty similar to bore brushes so this one is not splaying that much and it's also very easy to add drop by drop any needed water and for my likings that means that I won't be wasting the soap As usual, as I started with dry face, so it is a little bit difficult to get this leather started. But, as you can see, it's already blooming nicely. And Prorasso White is becoming one of my favorite soaps. Quite easily. Not because of some super nourishing skin features but simply because the consistency of the leather is like nice cream like a Greek yogurt and it is absorbing the water very nice as you can see very easy to distribute on the face very rich very potent leather and also working very well with this brush so i won't be commenting the razors but when it comes to soaps and brushes 
the Italians are really craftsmen of their trade, so almost no way to mistake with Prorasso and Omega. Just a little bit more water on mustache so it doesn't dry. And razor dirty as hell R89. Now, when it comes to this particular combo. R89 and treat stainless steel blades. It inspired me for a new round of Wicked Whiskers videos that I will film in upcoming days. Although I like both the razor and blade, I would say this is the worst combo. Because mild razor with such a mild blade, it's almost jeopardizing the efficiency. And during this small vacation, I think I probably had too much passes. with too much repetitions and the results were never as good as with some other options. And let's hear it. Pretty unexpected. I also noticed this lack of efficiency on this goatee area. where I hear a lot of feedback. And still have a lot of leftovers, so... I guess the way that the blade is sharpened and especially the way how it's tucked in this mild razor head it's just not reaching its full potential and it is still very mild for the skin so No irritations, no nicks. But when I need to repeat a dozen of strokes just to have these leftovers like I had a full day of beard growth and I just don't like it that much. So, for the first pass, it is pretty nice, pretty okay. We'll repeat a little bit. And squeeze everything from the brush. 
so this way you can really feel where the leftovers are and how dense is the leather so yeah not that terrible as I expected but still I know that R89 can perform much much better same goes with the treat blades as well so we will just <coughs> go nice and mild and this will be and the last shape with this combination much better now Now, when I completed the second pass, I see a couple of pimples here and there, so the travel shapes are never as good as the ones made at home. So, I guess that next shapes will be with something more aggressive. just to clean everything just a pimple scratched a little bit but no severe nicks just these tiny irritating weepers so maybe this was a good choice after all because I had a lot of these hiding things under the beard And it feels a little bit strange now to actually see everything in home mirror compared to the hotel bathrooms with poor lightnings and you know that tiny mirrors so so far so good a couple of pimples to be squeezed but Let's just rinse a little bit. And get some Brion for... I would say probably a week of just plain shapes with water rinsing and without proper aftershave and 
the skin feel very nice no burning which is at least one positive thing from this round but one two three four five six seven eight and nine pimples so I really do have problematic skin so thanks for watching this one it wasn't the best in terms of content and comments but I relaxed a little bit and I certainly do hope that you were as well so thanks for watching and see you next time bye